Wait one second, make sure I am recording. Sometimes it doesn't start right away. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age, episode 257, if I'm correct. Okay, let's see, make sure I am recording. Uh, let's see. Wait one second, I need to take a drink of water before we properly begin. Ah, delicious. Remember to hydrate while playing games. Okay. So, I've not uploaded in a little while. I've had uh, problems with my PC due to, uh, what was it called? Ah, yes. You know the little chip that you put into your PC to make it have internet? Well, that thing just up and died on me. So, I have a new one now. And hopefully, you know, it lasts longer than the last one. But, hopefully, you are all doing okay today and staying safe. And hopefully, you know. Do not look at this. Uh, let's see. Well, I need to take away all of this. Okay. Oh, ha. It takes a second to readjust into recording. I do apologize. Uh, let's see. Okay, that should work. And if I had carpets, I could line this area with carpet. Hmm. The thing is, I could go like this. Okay, I have an idea. Let me just uh, fill this in before I tell you the idea. So my idea is put a trap door here, mine under all of this. And that should, you know, get us to there and then I can fill it in later on. Okay, Dustin, come with me. So, now that I've done that, and I need to re fully readjust into recording. I haven't recorded in a few days, so, you know. It takes a while, and also, I'm not feeling 100% today. But hopefully that does not matter, as we have a lot to get done today. Now, you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Today, we are going to be working on a area that we don't normally go to, unless, you know, we go there for sand and all that. Yes, we are going to Village 1, Mass Halden, also known as the Desert. Uh, let's see. I heard a spider there, and I'm also a little bit laggy. I do apologize if I'm a little bit laggy. My world is still loading. I just logged on and then, you know, decided to start right away. I hear a spider, but I don't see the spider. Let me have my sword on hand. Yeah, I don't see a spider anywhere around here. I do see a dark spot over here. I really like this area. Oh, it's night time. I do really like this area. It was a pretty good idea to blast a hole into the, you know, surface of this area and then make sure, you know, the dirt looked like it had fallen down into the hole. I hear a ghost. Where are you, ghosty? I don't know where the ghost is. Well, it's actually a wraith. From the more creatures mod. Eh, uh, let's see. It's weird to think that I'm on episode 257 of this series. And remember, hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Okay, I might as well have a question of the day to settle us in to, you know, recording. Also, here's the people that I'm still deciding on what one I'm going to marry. We can either marry Candy, the farmer, Rifa, the fisherman, or Rosalina, the guard. Either one of those we might marry. And I'll let you decide it. What one should I marry? I'll leave up to yous. Eh, uh, let's see. I don't ask what happened to the rest. They will never be seen again. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see. I'm, oh yeah, I was supposed to have a question of the day. Question of the day. Okay, do not look at my questions of the day. What's the best or worst practical joke that you've played on someone or that was played on you? That's the question of the day, and I might as well have a second one because I have plenty of them for today. Who do you go out of your way to be nice to? That's the second question of the day. And I'll leave the rest for later on an episode. Uh, let's see. So, back to the thing about me uh, not being able to record. So I wasn't able to record for a few days, but I had a ton of episodes planned for that day, and I never got to record them due to, you know, not having internet for my PC, sadly. 
So, let me get to the desert. So, I need to record all of them today. Uh, let's see. And I had planned Fallout New Vegas and all that. I will need to do Fallout New Vegas. Uh, what else? Some other games too. I had some uh, Steam games for random days, random games. I was going to play uh, Left 4 Dead 2. I was going to record a lot of videos that day. But sadly, uh, I was unable to record. Uh, let's see. Also, I do really like this area that we built so long ago. It did take a long time to build this area. And it's not fully, you know, developed. Uh, let's see. I forgot one of my uh, shulker boxes back home, sadly. Uh, let's see. So, while I've been away, I have been planning tons of build ideas. And I mean tons. Uh, let's see. I can't count them all now. I think it's about seven builds. Uh, let's see. A lot of them are large structure builds, if you don't know what I'm meaning. I came up with some ideas for building a uh, ginormous structures for the future. And I'm super excited to do them in the future. It's going to be probably one of my favourite things to do is got to be building these islands. But once I construct these islands, it will be very, very good, I would say. Sorry, sometimes I'm getting distracted trying to figure out if that thing's coming for me or not. Better fall on three. Hey! Hey! You okay, mate? You're a bit low on health. Why don't you take it easy? Okay, we're actually rampaging these guys. These guys don't even exist no more. Eh, uh, let's see. Okay, we're almost there. Ah. Uh, you know, sometimes you just have to admire the ocean. Okay, so I am going to need, I will take that eight wood, turn that all into sticks. Now turn them all into torches. I am going to have to light all of this area up. And I haven't really explained what I'm going to be building, but let me talk about the islands. So, I've decided try and look at some real islands and then you know, try and recreate one because you know I wanted to try and test my skills by creating a real island in real life so I stumbled across the island of Toshima the one that's also in uh, Ghost of Toshima and I played that game it's pretty good and I decided you know what this island's got to be pretty good to recreate so I'm gonna recreate Toshima, the island of Toshima, in Minecraft, and I already have a planned idea of where it's going to be. Was well, planned happily. It's kind of going to be based somewhere around this area. Now I have it planned for either over here, like over here, or wait, this area would be nice, but I kind of don't want to destroy the archipelago. Because this archipelago has been here for a long time. But I could build it at a spruce biome. Eh? It's either a spruce biome or over here. I could build it here and then maybe build it out somewhere over here. But then that might mess up the archipelago. I have a problem with you know, deciding where I'm going to build something. I don't want to destroy the nature. Uh, let's see. I can't build it here because this is a kind of leak sea ocean area sorry about that uh, let's see hmm let's see hmm sorry about the neighborhood dogs there okay let me sink sink hmm I could build it here by making a bit outwards or I could just don't care, I'm going to destroy the archipelago. I think I might have to destroy the archipelago. But that doesn't mean I can't recreate the archipelago in the future. I think I might save that idea. So, I destroy this, turn it into like a like peninsula or something. 
yeah, I think a peninsula like that. Follow the islands along, you know, stretch it across. I think that might actually work. And then you know, fill all this in. Create some mountains. And then we construct the island of Tashuma here. Well, let, let's not talk about that project now. As I've talked about too much, and I've not talked about the main project of today. So the main project of today, I don't really have a name for it. Hmm. Okay. We have Mass Halden. This is the main area over here. And we're going to be expanding up this lane. So somewhere over here is the build area of a new part of Mass Halden. Now I don't have a proper name for this project. Sorry about that. My book slipped there. Hmm. A proper name. Hmm. We can go with uh, the Armoured Project. I think that the Armoured House Project. The Armoured House Project. Let me write that down. Uh, let's see. The Armour Armoured House Project or Armoured Land. I think Armoured Land might be pretty good, so score that out. Okay, this is the Armoured Land Project. Now it's not the best name, but I had to come up with one on the sly, so you know, you can't really blame me. Okay, well, I might as well talk about them, as you know, we're here. So they're, uh, Dustin. There's one enemy up there. So I have an idea of building a clock tower, a church, and a weird looking structure. But the rest of this uh, project is going to be, you know, build whatever to make, you know, the village. Okay. Problem is, how much room do I have? Fire. Dustin! Dustin! Dustin, you are a beast! Oh, I almost killed my own snake. Skok. Skok. Well, that doesn't sound nice. Uh, cool. Sako. Your name is Sako. Sako. Oh, look, tools. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have a lot of land that we have to light up. Uh, I don't know how we're doing this, but, you know, we get it over quite quickly. At least it's not as long as the sugarcane fields project. Uh, let's see. Let's see. And most of the land is, you know, you know, already terraformed. So I don't have to care about it much. Dustin! Child! So you were about to die there, mate? Get out of here. Watch out, Dustin. That's like a Mr. President get down there moment. Just jumping over uh, Dustin there. Eh, uh, let's see. Just did a roll over his head. Eh, uh, let's see. Okay, light this up so no more mobs can spawn as, you know, much here. Eh, uh, let's see. I can't, like, permanently get rid of them. But I lay it up. Light it up as you know, much as possible. As this is the main railroad area that I need to work on. Uh, let's see. I'm supposed to build like a secure area with you know fences. Problem is I don't really have many fences. And fences are expensive. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, make sure I am recording. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I like this up to as much as possible. Watch out for that guy, he has a stone axe. 
to even let them get close. Okay. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to get done now. Bone, string, ender pearl, arrows. You know, I've been collecting up a lot of everything in my inventory that, uh, you know, drops from a mob. Okay, that's going to be needed to light up. That to do. You can see the light still before the sun, you know, gets fully up. Okay, let's see how well we do. The problem is the sugarcane fields project isn't really the best with uh, the mob issue. It kind of dominates a lot of the land that can spawn. I don't actually need to follow that bit, do I? It's everything across this lane here. It's a lot of spiders, watch out. Good job. Okay, you know, Dustin's actually very handy to have around. Eh, uh, let's see. He's a good friend and companion of me now. I've had so many friends and they've all, you know, died. You have Hung, Kelvin, Daryl. Dallas, I don't know what, yeah, I relocated Dallas because he was being very creepy. You kind of have the same skin, but not the exact same skin. Uh, let's see. It's secretly Dallas, but in disguise. Uh, that would be funny. Okay, let's see. Light that up as best as I can get. And I think that's pretty much a lot of the job done. Now I need to deal with the railway problems. I can at least get two tracks. Unless I cook something here, like in my iron that I have. I'm probably not going to have much rails. Uh, let's see. Let's hurry across here. I may deal with the problem back home. Also, if you're wondering what these obsidian pillars are, it's part of the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. And you had to resummon the Grim Reaper, and I resummoned the Grim Reaper to save my son. Sadly, my son uh, never got, you know, back to life. Uh, let's see. It's one of the one of the saddest deaths of the series, I would say. Oh, sandstone. Just a thing that I would need later on. Okay, let's see. Probably cobble also. The big stuff can go. That can go, that can go, that can go, and that. I got an iron shovel. I saw it was a stone shovel when I picked up from that uh, werewolf. Uh, let's see. That can go in there. Okay. Also, there's orange dye there. I might take that later. Okay. Where is my... I need eight of that. That you do. What's going on with you today? I'm I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. That should work out quite nicely. Okay. Now, if I put a stack of iron in here, and put that back up there, it should take a bit to cook. But when that's fully cooked, I have enough rails. And also iron. Uh, let's see, air. Wait, you can make coarse dirt? I keep forgetting that you can make coarse dirt with gravel. Because I, I always neglect using coarse dirt. I don't really like coarse dirt. It's kind of an ugly block. And you, I can always, you know, get it from the savannah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I need sticks. That's why I can't make anything. Uh, let's see. Redstone related. Why can't I do anything? Go like that. There we go. Something that never would show up. Okay, so we have to put these rails all the way to the new bits of land. 
where we're going to be building this new village. Uh, let's see. So I guess let's start here. Sadly, I did not invest and get more uh, glowstone before this project. That uh, would have helped. Uh, let's see. Watch out, Kelvin. No, not Kelvin. Dustin. Your name is so weird. It's like Dust and Justin together. What? Can I not? I've never noticed that. You cannot place... Well, that's a problem that I need to solve. Uh, let's see. So go like this. Actually pretty good rail system here. I've never, you know, used rails as much as, you know. I think the only time that I really used rails was when I was gathering them up in the mine shafts to get, uh, what's it called? To get some, uh, what's it called? Rails. I was mining some up in the mine shaft to get some rails. And then I used them on the train station. Sorry, it takes a second to try and, you know, figure out the sentence that I want to get out. Uh, let's see. And these are historical blocks that cannot be broken. Uh, let's see. You know, I don't know if it's a good rule or not to, you know, not break historical blocks. Like, I don't want to break that area over there. Uh, let's see if I don't have to. Uh, let's see. Go like that. That should work. Okay, that is actually pretty good. Does it show up on the map? It kind of shows up on the map. It's like a you know tint of color. Uh, let's see. Now the problem is. Am I going to clear a lot of the landscape? I can clear a lot of the landscape if needed. I think I have to cut off a layer or two of the landscape so it's not too tall. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take off a layer. Might as well start by lowering the torches by one block. This one has to go by two. Well, I might as well just start from you near know, the top of the area. Okay, I might as well have a question of the day while I'm doing this. Uh, let's see, question of the day. Hmm. Where do you get most of your decorations for your home? And I might as well have another one after that. What food is delicious but pain a pain to eat? Hmm. A food that's delicious, but it's a pain to eat. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really see. Maybe haggis? I don't know. Haggis is good, but you know, sometimes you get spicy haggins and... Spicy haggis, not the best. I would not recommend having spicy haggis. Like, some people like spicy food. I definitely would not recommend spicy haggis. It is a normal haggis, but, you know. The best haggis is probably the ones that are not spicy. Because it takes, you know, a lot of, you know, time to make them not spicy. Uh, let's see. And it depends on the, the producer. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What would be the worst one I've ever tried? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, haggis out there. If you don't know what haggis is. Haggis is a Scottish food that is from a sheep. I'm telling lies. It's not actually from a sheep. It's from this uh, animal called the haggis. It walks on three legs. Well, it actually walks on four legs. But one of the legs is short, so it's like a little stumpy, you know, leg there. Can't really use it. Or it fall over. Kind of used as a sport. And it has to go around a mountain. 
but don't ever well so it has to go around a mountain clockwise reverse clockwise to actually mate because it's very hard for them to move uh, let's see and also do not tell anyone that I told you this okay I've got to tell you know the lie so haggis is actually made up of all parts of a sheep it's very weird who would think of making a you know sheep out of haggis uh, let's see uh, let's see I think black pudding comes from cows. A long time ago you used to use uh, cow blood for uh, black pudding. Not a nice thing to hear, uh, kind of disgusting. I think they changed it. Yeah, they definitely changed it. Uh, let's see. I've noticed that I've lost my shovel from the silk touch shovel. I lost it. I think I put it in one of the shulker boxes. I think that's what's happened to it. Okay, just shear it all back. And it's actually looking quite nice out here. You know, I don't actually admire the ne the desert that much. I said nether. Uh, let's see. But you have to admire the desert every once in a while. It may not be much, but you know, it has its own beauty. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's clean all this out. Okay, that should work. Okay, that is a lot of room cleared out. Light that up, light that up. Light this hill up, so no mobs can spawn in. That's a weird sound that played there. I hit it at the same time that it hit me, and it played a weird sound. Quite weird. Uh, let's see. I still have a lot to go, so let's you know get on this and get it done. Also, you can see my fountain from all the way over here. Uh, let's see. You know, I still remember the first time that I decided that I was going to transform the village. It's so sad that none of the villagers from that day actually survived. A lot of them just uh, died off during the, uh, you know, building because a lot of the buildings were just tear torn down. <sighs> Still remember the Elvis Presley ones. Uh, let's see, put some of these sand in here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to have to invest and in get more backpacks. And also sharing more of my sheep's wool. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, so back to the name of the project. I just realised. I was thinking about this, that's why I was not speaking. Armoured land. Kind of sounds, you know... Like a game or a movie. Armored Lands. The greatest MMO ever. I bet you there is actually a game out there called Armored Lands. Uh, let's see, kind of reminds me of Borderlands. I did actually play one of the Borderlands games recently, but I didn't actually really like it. I liked the other ones, but this one was a one shot ad adventure, Tiny Tina's one shot adventure. You know, RPG kind of one. I didn't really like it for a certain reason. When I got to the final boss and I was fighting it, I was not best leveled because I skipped a lot of the stuff. But I kept running out of ammunition before I could actually, you know, kill the boss. And I got so close to killing the boss and I, had, I died. Uh, let's see. And I was so sad that I never, you know, killed the boss. So I kind of just gave up on the game, but I would recommend the game if you want to have, you know, fun of it. Uh, let's see. It is a, you know, fun game. Just, I'm not very good at Borderlands. Also, I need to fill this cave up. Okay, let's see. I 
saw that was a creeper behind me. No, it's just it's just Dustin. Now Dustin, be very, very careful with what we're doing here. Because if one of these blocks just somehow move, we're dead. You got that? So get out of there before you suffocate to death. It's worth getting this uh, tunnel, you know, filled in. Eh, uh, let's see. Once it's filled in, I don't have to care about it. Eh, uh, let's see. You know, I think one of the things that made this series a good series was the texture pack. Because if you look at the texture pack, it does actually look pretty nice. Luckily, we actually got a lot of it done. Need to do this one over here, but yeah. Can save that for another time, or I could grab like two to now. Start filling it in. And that doesn't actually work, but you know, who cares. So, I'm gonna fill in these caves, and the reason why I'm filling in these caves is so you know it doesn't. Be too bad for this uh, land, me falling into caves all the time. Also, I want to try and preserve, you know, a lot of the landscape. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Okay. Dustin is just going, you know, full rampage like Doom over here. Have you ever played the first Doom? I played the first Doom a couple of times. I think my favourite Doom was 2016 Doom. I've never tried the new Doom. I would not, you know. I would definitely play it, but you know. Oh. Kill it before it can blow. Oh. That was like very scary there. We almost got obliterated by a creeper. Dustin almost died. Dustin, can you get out of there for a second? Thank you. That, not too bad. And out of here. Okay, light up the little spots that we see along the way while we're getting back home. Uh, let's see. But we have a pretty slat land. I see a fire ogre. And I intend to kill fire ogre. Get off of my land. I really hate fire ogres for all the times that they've murdered all of my pets. Like I remember uh, the old days of mo Minecraft uh, mo creatures. They were absolute monsters back in the day. If you saw a fire ogre, say goodbye to your wooden base. Oh, he died and now there's a floating block here. Oh, it's a rat. I haven't seen a rat in years. I think the last time that I seen a rat was like probably last year. Yeah, it was last year. Because the last time that I seen one was when I was building the 150 block white project. That's the last time that I saw a rat and more creatures. Eh, uh, let's see. But I need to deal with the lighting issue over here. Eh, uh, let's see. Take care of this. Not too bad of a lighting job, I would say. Yeah, you know, I don't really have to deal with much of the damage from the enemies, it's just creepers that are the problem. Get out of here. Okay. Let's see, what do I not need? That, 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 that. Basically all the good stuff on me, apart from that leather. Layers is actually pretty good. And I uh, place that down. There's respect to the 
skeleton for challenging me. But it's, you know, fruitless for attacking me. Eh, uh, let's see. We also still need to sculpt this land over here at some point. Is that how fast you attack? You do so much damage, but you hit so fast. You're like an auto-clicker. You know the auto-clicking games? Eh, uh, let's see. I still remember Cookie Clicker. Didn't Cookie Clicker come out of uh, early access, like last year or the year before that? I still remember uh, Cookie Clicker. Everyone was playing Cookie Clicker back in the day on YouTube. I hated it. It was absolutely horrible then. Because every time that I would log on to YouTube, all I would see, Cookie Clicker. I don't know why people like Cookie Clicker. I cannot speak it now. Do not know why people like Cookie Clicker so much. It's just, you know, clicking cookies. It is quite fun if you play it. Uh, let's see. If you play it like... For like a stream? Nah, not stream. Well, I failed at trying to preserve a lot of the landscape. There. Uh, let's see. Probably not the best to use the building block that I'm going to be using later. Uh, let's see. But a lot of this was a... Uh, ages ago uh, landscapes. You know, I never actually noticed this for the longest time, this area. That's that gone, that's that gone. So much, you know, destruction just being caused by just placing a few blocks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Oh. Let's see. Okay, that should do. That should do. I don't have to deal with this issue for now. Uh, let's see. Light it up just to be sure no mobs can spawn here. Uh, let's see. Also, you know how we have this church looking area over here? I was thinking about building another church over this side, so it's got to be like twin churches. But not built the exact same way. This church is going to be different entirely. Different build entirely. It's going to revolve about... I can't really remember. Like 1930s, 1940s churches. But not Victorian churches back in the 1800s. You know, the ones with all the nice structure. Or the ones that came before that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I might as well just get... Sculpt in the now what I want to build. Uh, let's see. Fix my posture a second. I do apologize. Take a drink of water while I'm grabbing my book. Squirted all over my hand there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I'm going to need a platform. Problem is, I don't know how long this is going to be, but I can start from the bell tower. Now, a normal bell tower, if I'm going to be walking up it. One, two, three, four. I don't know if this could work, but I do have some of this to test out. Okay, so one, two, block there, block there. Nah, that, that's too thin of a gap. It needs to be at least three blocks wide, well four blocks wide, like this. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, that should work. Eh, uh, let's see. The problem is I'm just using this as a marker the now, and I switch to outside to cobble, as I know what's going to look like now. Eh, uh, let's see. 
So this is the base of the structure. We have, you know, the main church. Well, this is actually the, the church tower. Eh, uh, let's see. Oh, I just got slashbacks to that one church in that one game. So, does any of you remember Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30 something? 2? 32? 34? I can't remember exactly what number it is in the title. But I used to play that game all the time. It was a great game. I would recommend it if you're looking for a Xbox or PS2 game. I don't know if it was on PS2. I think it was on PS2. Uh, let's see. It is a great game. It's kind of outdated now with, you know, all the combat stuff in it. Uh, let's see. But I would definitely say, uh, what do you call it? Brothers in Arms is a pretty good game. Uh, let's see. It's one of the games that I grew up on. Uh, let's see. Same as Medal of Honor. Okay. It's weird to think how old how old these games are now. Like back in the day, oh these are revolutionary graphics. Today it's like garbage graphics. Like when I imagine these games back in the day, these games were in like 4K, 60 frame. And then you look at it and it's like a PS1 game, you can only see pixels. Can hardly control. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is how the church is going to be like. Problem is, I need positioners for the windows. So, do I want three block white windows or do I want normal kind of windows? Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And then put my sword away a second. And that to be the same on this side. Yep, that should work. And then two blocks in between. Excuse me. Dustin. And then bricks, sandstone, cobble, 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 brick, 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 and then that there. Okay, that should match up exactly of what I need it to look like. It's not fully symmetrical. There is a few, you know, stuff about it that needs to be fixed, but. It does not really matter the now. What matters is getting the structure close to being finished for next episode, I would say. Uh, let's see. Like that. And have like one of the uh, balcony bits at the side of churches. Hmm. Now, I, I need this moved back a little bit. And then I need to put more slabs. Well, I need more slabs. Okay. Let's see. I think this is pretty good. It's not in the way of the railroad. And it is a start of a new part of this landscape. Uh, I could start doing a little bit of fencing the now if I wanted to. Uh, let's see. So the fencing will have to run through this line here. So that line, yeah, that's absolutely perfect there. So to go like this, and then sandstone there. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. And that is how this area is going to be. I do kind of really enjoy this area. It does have the problem of uh, a lot of sand getting in the way. Uh, let's see. But that line should match up perfectly. And then later on we do another expansion in our world over here. And I think I might wrap it 
to go around this area and claim this bit of land here. It takes a while to you know light up land like this. I could light up in one episode, but you know that take too long. But then the final bit would probably be claiming this bit, and then wrapping a big area over here around the mountain, and then claiming the mountain by lighting it up. I have been meaning to do a structure build on the mountain, changing all of the blocks out for different colourful blocks. And I had that idea for the longest time. I've just been uh, waiting on somebody's reply to see what kind of colour I'm going to go with for it. Uh, let's see. That should work. Nah, that shouldn't work. Okay, let's go with the old uh, school, just jungle wood and stone bricks. And then torch place. There we go. And that should wrap around nicely. Not too bad. In the future, I think I might add, like, maybe a little bit that goes under here. I think that might be pretty cool. Maybe a lot underground, you know, walkway area. So it can have two walkways, one that comes here and one that goes under it. I think that could be pretty cool. I make the marking for it and for the future. There's a, you know, sandstone right there. Uh, let's see. So I need that there. Get a bunch of wood. And now we can start getting this all together how it's going to look break that okay I'm actually having a lot of fun you know just building this church it's not our usual buildings but it's not our usual you know building style either uh, let's see problem is I'm going to need some kind of unique block to make it stand out the walls and I'm was thinking white some colorful block hmm okay let's think about this Dustin and, and the you know people watching us what we gotta do for the walls I think I'll leave the walls for next episode but I can do the outline of how the building's going to go so the idea is either quartz, concrete, or something for the walls. Hmm. I think I'll let the people decide what we're going to be, you know, using for the walls. Uh, let's see. It's better to let you decide. Uh, let's see. Okay, that should work. looks pretty good there and I might as well see what our last question of the day is today hmm oh wait it looks like that one's been cut off for some reason well it looks like we do not have a last question of the day sadly due to uh, a problem with the thing there uh, let's see it looks like it cut the end of it off kill that guy come on Okay. okay, let's see. Well, I can either do that or I could keep it the same level. Nah, let's take out the bottom level. And then that can start going up over there. Use some stone slabs. Can I actually walk up here? 
new. It needs to be brought higher in the corners. That's what I've realized. It can't be that low down. Okay, let's see. I think I might preserve some of the sandstone here. Okay, let's see. So that goes like that. Like that. Place that. Place that. That goes there. Ah, that's why I can't do anything. Okay, light this up as far as we can. Okay, that's actually working out quite nicely. And eventually this shall go farther up. Uh, let's see. Probably about that height. Seems reasonable enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, go like that. And place that there. Okay, that's actually doing pretty good. Place that there. We're actually doing pretty good here with how it's, uh, you know, going upwards. Uh, let's see. And that would be the top of the structure right there I'm pretty sure uh, let's see okay I'm probably go up by one block that should work out okay what am I doing for the corner blocks. I think I might just leave it with no corner blocks or in the future I could just add spruce to it. I think that's probably the idea. Whee! Ow. Uh, let's see. Click that. Click that into that. Okay. That is actually going quite nicely. And yeah we're pretty much almost done. Oh no. I'm, I'm just gonna get out of the area. That thing just sucks up blocks and it's very annoying. So teleport out the area. Then teleport back in the area. Uh, that's the spider spawner. That I'm still deciding do I want to make into a spider farm, but all the temps, you can really see that off in the distance. I think it may have to be taller. Might have to be taller. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that might work out. Wait. That's there, right? So close to the rooftop. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put powered rails on this uh, area here. Okay, so that's close to the rooftop, right? I'll probably put the roof quite close to that area. Probably around that area up there. Yeah, it's gone, luckily. Uh, let's see. So, would that be the roof? How would that look? Let me drop down and check it out. Okay, how's this going to look? We're almost there to the exit. Not too bad of a roof job, really. Yeah, it should match up directly how the picture matches up. 
Uh, let's see. Well, I need to light it up. So, put that there. Grab some more sticks. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You asked me that a couple seconds ago, and I'm out of coal. Okay. What? What? Oh, you broke, didn't you? Oh, there you are. Stay here. I'll be back for you later. Or you can move freely and teleport back home. I guess I'll leave Dustin here. He's a good friend. He can just chill out here. Uh, let's see. We have built many beautiful structures, structures here. Problem is... What else am I going to build? Like, it's always about the next build. We can, you know, spend as much time as I want on, you know, one build. Or I could, you know, start planning other builds while I'm building this build. Hmm. I thought it was off of the rail, but it looks like it's quite close to the other rail. Eh, uh, we'll see. It can just go around. Might be a little bit wonky, but you know, you're going backwards, so it won't be too wonky. Eh, uh, let's see. But I do think that is perfect. Looks like it might have to have a third layer of stone bricks. Yeah, it might have to have a third layer of stone bricks, if I'm correct. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go like that and make a bunch of these. Okay, that is actually going quite well. Yeah, I was hoping to get more done today, but you know, it's just us coming back today, so you know, I can't really expect too much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. That should work out quite nicely. Okay, this roofing actually, I think I might be able to do it today and get it over with. Okay, let's run back. I'm out of hunger, so I might as well eat some baked potatoes. I'm going to have to restock soon. Totally forgot about putting the roof on that thing. Eh, uh, let's see. I think I could just put in lava. Nah, I think I tried burning it last time and it just kept on fire. Eh, uh, let's see. It's just it's always in fallen am animation. Eh, uh, let's see. We still have one at home that is still there. Eh, uh, let's see. It can never go away, sadly. And that is almost the top bit of this fully done. And there we go. And then I probably do like some weird bit at the top of this over here. I think that could look nicely. Could look nice, not nicely. Eh, uh, let's see. Sometimes I repeat a lot of words when I'm trying to think of how, you know, I'm going to speak next. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Wait, are we one block over? I think I'm one block over. I think that's how I planned it. I don't really know. Eh, uh, let's see. Quickly do this side. We're almost above the, what do you call it? Windows. And I think that's the point that I'm going to stop it, is when I get to the top of the windows. I think that's a perfect opportunity to stop. Go like that. Actually not too bad, I quite enjoy this area. Eh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think when we get this last layer done, we end today's episode. And then tomorrow we add in uh, whatever kind of coloured concrete I'll let you decide. And if you just don't want to decide, you don't have to. Uh, let's see. I'll probably go with white if 
no one decides. Or we could just go full, you know, random colours. Like an artistic t touch, not touch. Church. Artistic church. Uh, let's see. With many different colours. I think that could work. Uh, let's see. Not too bad of a church. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's see. Do I have stairs new? No. Go like that. Is that a full block there? It looks like a full... No, that's not a full block. That's a full block. And now... What do I add here? Hmm. Could add a few vines to the build. Maybe some oak fences. Yeah, I guess that could work. Tells you where north is. North is that way, right? Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, I might as well do the fences because I accidentally discovered that I had a lot of oak fences on here. So I'll quickly do this. I could actually expand the fence around the area soon. Let's quickly do that. Sometimes we get distracted and end up doing something else. Uh, let's see. Yep, that should work. That should work out quite nicely. That fence job is almost done. Uh, sorry, torch. You won't have to be on top of it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. And I think I could make it go out that way and connect up with that fence over that way. Hmm. Could actually work uh, properly implemented. Uh, let's see. Let's look at that. There we go. Not too bad of a fence, I would say. And then one day I will rule that mountain. Well, it's actually just a tiny hill, but you know. It looks bigger on the map. Uh, let's see. Really? The one thing that I did not want, and it spawned there. Ugh. What? Orange? Darkish vines? I was expecting like the light green, like lush vines or something. It's kind of scary. The reddish vines. Oh, I got stuck on that. That uh, block of cactus that I placed. Uh, let's see. But not too bad. Not too bad of a job. Once it's finished, it uh, probably look a lot nicer, and once we finish that uh, bell tower over there, it'll look a lot, lot nicer. Well, we're going to have to end today's episode here. So hopefully you en hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Sorry about that. Uh, have a nice day, safe, have toast apple. Maybe even tomorrow, you just need to keep up the vitamins. Very, very important. And bye-bye. See you next time. Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.